Hello, monsters abound here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 12 of my what is going on over there. What, what is that? Are you okay? Do I, should I call someone? Bring me something's leg. Uh, part 12 of my Scrabbra, sc sc Scrag, it's not Scarbrand, Scrag campaign, Scrag. There we go, Scrag campaign. That's not, that's not Scrag. There he is, we're at Old Dwarf. Last time, we laid into the Empire. We need to conquer some Empire. Also, Kazakarak, potentially. I don't know, who, who are you guys at war with? My Slayer Oath would have me kill you where you stand. But uh, also... okay, you're at war with, with, um, with Tretch. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, it's not far to go for Kazakarak, to be honest. We don't have to fight too, through too much stuff, so that should be fine. Uh, we do need to... Uh, so, I'm thinking we t we, we're going to have to declare war on Elspeth, because we want Nuln and Piffledorf and Marienburg and potentially Castle Drakenhof. Haven't decided yet. May, may kill that. May go somewhere else. I mean, if we could make friends with you... I will kill, kill you. Don't kill kill me. We could be cool, chill friends. We could be. We could, I mean, could I? Hang on. Let's, let's have a chat. Can I give you Akendorf? Would that be... Mm, mm, not quite enough, is it? I mean, I reckon I could probably... I'm tempted just to give them settlements, because I don't actually care all that much. I mean, Matorka is bringing in one and a half K. That's quite, that's quite a lot. I might, I'm, I'll mull it over. We'll mull it over. I'm not sold on it, but it could happen, couldn't it? Could happen. We'll see. Uh, let's, I mean, we could get another army, to be honest. So I do not want to be at war with the Wood Elves. The Wood Elves have three stacks. It's got three stacks of stuff. I don't want to deal with that. If Ikit wants to go and deal with that, he can go and deal with that. That's entirely up to him. That's his problem. You are going to build one of those, even though uh, you can never leave, but that's fine. You can live there. Uh, we will upgrade you, and we'll get some money there as well. Why not? I love a bit of cash. Good. So I could give settlements to Queek, and I think Queek does own a bunch of settlements that we actually need for a tick off, so that could work. That could be an option. Zartan. Peace Treaty. Uh, well, I've kind of got what I want from Gold too, so all right. Lensburg. Yes, hello. Oh Hang on. Where's Flens? Oh, there you are. There you are. Right. Boop. That is what you get. Can the AI even remove cult? I'm no, you know, it can remove cults, can't it? Does it ever do it? I have seen them do it previously. I wonder if they do it to each other. Do they? If it's yours, they do. Do they do they bother doing it if they already if if it's another AI faction? Do they just kind of go? Who cares? No biggie. Uh, are you? Hang on. Are you? Mm, how do you guys feel about Queek? Also, who's strength rank one? The Cult of Pleasure. It's Mummy Marathi managing to be. I'm. Is that because of all your black arcs? Because you do you do seem to have a lot of... I remember there was... I, I think they have fixed fixed the number of black arcs they had. Uh, so they were spawning in. But I do remember... Christ, what campaign was it? I'd landed in Ulth 1 for no... I, I can't remember what it was now. But it, either way, uh, Marathi was at war with the, the High Elves as well. Oh, that's right. It was Mazda Mundi. She was always Mazda Mundi. Mazda Mundi was sailing armies over to... I was, was it the Grom campaign? I'd invaded Ulthuan 
Masdemundi was sending armies from Lustria. He was at war with with Marathi. He was they were literally sailing past Marathi's black arcs who were doing no, they were ignoring each other. I lost my mind. It was so aggravating. I was so cross. I was I was a grumpy boy. Is how is Queek doing? Is Queek doing all right? Where's Tretch these days? Uh, where the fuck is oh, there you are? I mean, you do have a lot of settlements. I don't know. I guess it's. I guess we'll just we'll just we'll just be we'll just be chill for a minute. As long as we make sure the camps stay together. Was one of the camps? Oh, but the camps are not staying together. It's fine. As long as we don't. As long as the, as long as the wood elves don't declare war, that's we're okay. Let us not fret. Let us not fret about such things. Uh, right. Where's our boys? You're there. You've taken that one. Good. You're heading towards that one. Good. You. You can't move. Technically. I mean, you can move, but you I don't think you can actually... You can't embark. So effectively, you're now stuck on that island forever. You cannot move. I mean, there's worse places to be, isn't there? Vod, I'm bringing you over to Kazakarak. Now, of course, because it's episode 12, we will be starting a brand new campaign tomorrow. What will we be starting? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm, I'm erring towards beastmen. Hello? Uh, why is why is Mummy Marathi beating up the other Dark Elves? Okay, I guess I'm guess I'm joining in then. We just gonna, I think we're just going to go around mopping up. Just slowly mopping up the Empire. Conquering all their stuff. I... No, no, did that... Hang on, did that ruin my reputation? I'm never, I'm never sure... Oh, no, it didn't ruin my reputation. Okay, good. Okay, good, good. Right, who could we trade agreement with them? Who bothers Greek? Let's do that. Let's do that, because I think that's... No, we're not going to trade settlements. We're, we're sort of on our way. Not you. No one wants to trade with me anymore. Uh, Harganeth, are you getting on with... It doesn't look like you get on with them. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No sorry, Bob. You guys don't get... I, uh, it's so hard traversing the the clicks of the Warhammer universe, isn't it? Tyrant of the tribe. You know, you make you, you have a trade agreement with Cathay, and for some fucking reason, Malekith wants to stick his oar in and tell you you're you're a twat. I, I just don't It's really hard. <laughs> Sometimes someone I've just been yeah, you know, I've been coveting that friendship, I've been working on it, building it up, and suddenly you, you trade a settlement with someone because you don't want it, and they then your person you've been your like building that relationship with hates you for no particular reason. It's like being at fucking secondary school. It's like Jesus Christ, guys, chill out. It just, I just didn't want the settlement. I got some money for it. Calm the fuck down. Okay, enjoy. Oh, it's Owen. Owen Lis, Liskin, Liskin, Liskin. I wish it was called Owen Hughes. Oh, good job. Also, we took a settlement in the. Um, there's one at Flensburg as well, and Kemperbad. Holy sh. Who is not paying attention? Upkeep additional for all ogre... Wait, what? For all units and for ogre infantry units. Okay, cool. Thanks. Oh, I can reach you! Heinz! Beans means Heinz. 
Hello, Heinz. Oh, God, there's a couple of guys there, actually. Up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighbourhood. Uh, you know what? I'm going to fight this just to be on the safe side. Don't, don't trust or resolve. We're going to have a lovely man meat sandwich, if you know what I mean. By which I mean, we are go. they're the meats. And we're going to make a sandwich of them as we have the gorges coming from the rear. And then we have our main ogre army. Well, the bulls that I haven't bothered to change out yet. Coming in from the front. I mean, to be fair, they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty good. They'll, they'll do fine. There's uh, the stubborn bulls. Empire knights with great swords. Quite like them because I like knights with with two hand weapons it's just a preference uh, they do have the wonder of the age the land ship unfortunately it's getting gorged and apparently the gorged 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 gorge, whatever it's getting eaten by gorges and as you can see they are ripping that to pieces pretty handily it does not stand a chance and do not many think i was tempted to just go full gorges in this army but i, I feel like that would be a little bit bland even though it's probably the most effective Everyone's dead now, so, um... Good. Good. I mean... Good. I'm surprised that land ship died quite so quickly. Let us take the replenishment just to be on the safe side so we may get attacked from both sides. They may throw everything they've got at us. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to go and take Grumberg. We'll have that one. Thank you. Uh, right, we're also going to torch these. How did you even spread that? Oh, the important thing is, put you out of commission. I mean, it's probably loads more. Ogre tyrant. Do we want... More meat for my grinder. Exactly. Let's just get some more boys. I mean, we probably should get another army, actually, come to think of it. Oh, I need to take out Karakangazar as well. Can you actually attack... No, you can't. You can, you, can, you, can, you can defend. You can join in. You can reinforce, but you can't attack. Well, the upkeep reduction was very nice. Ambush defense chance, chance of intercepting armies, potentially. Um, all right. all go on then. Just need to make sure we're in a safe place. Uh, good. Okay, just everyone. It's fine. I should probably poop out some more. I can probably poop out more camps. How many? Does it say how many camps I can poop out? Is there like a number? That's just camp limit plus two. It doesn't say anywhere. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew you'd do that. Luckily, your army's complete shit. So, this is going to be fairly one-sided. Anyway, reinforcements arrived just in time for some gorges. And uh, seeing as the enemy army is now going to be, you know, fairly penned in, I think this is the best time to, uh, to drop a more on them. Yay! Well, not much jam, but... It does do a catastrophic amount of damage. That unit, I think there's like 90 guys in a unit, and they've, they've got bugger all health left. But basically, a stiff breeze would kill them. Ogre balls. Oh, that's the jam. That's the jam we're working for. Delightful. Uh, brutal. Absolutely brutal. I think that's because they took so much damage from the moor spell uh, that now just a quick club to the head causes them to explode in a shower of gore. 
this is fairly one-sided. There are, of course, more more guys incoming. Carl is getting clobbered by man-eaters. There's a giant in there. Bear grills. They're now raining rockets down on our heads. I'm not too worried about that, personally. Okay, Carl's force has been dealt with. Carl himself is about to die. Da is now dead. Although these rockets probably aren't going to do too much damage to us, I did decide to spawn some gorges in to eat them. I figured the best kind of artillery is dead artillery. The, the best kind of enemy artillery is the artillery that's currently being eaten by a bunch of baby ogres. And there we go. There now. Super fucking dead. Even brace those halberdiers cannot hold the line against our cavalry. Just need to uh, mop up these survivors. It is basically a mop up operation. I genuinely think they could have thrown four stacks at me and I would have handily annihilated them all. I don't know what they could do to deal with this, uh, this ogre army. I feel like the Empire would have to throw everything they had at me and that would still not be enough. just very one-sided now for some reason i'm not entirely sure why but these guys are unbreakable are witch hunters always unbreakable i mean i get that wearing a trench coat and a fedora can make you feel invulnerable but trust me it, it doesn't doesn't actually make you invulnerable uh he's about to get trampled to death we also need to kill that steam tank Again, not going to be that hard of a task. Yeah, didn't think that was going to be a problem for us somehow. Ogre armies are just very good. I mean, our armies are very good. But you know what I mean. Yes, Wurzag? No, I'm not fighting. Especially for three grands. Barely worth the effort. Well, let me Marathi wipe those guys out. I thought I thought my Marathi and those guys would be friends, but apparently not. You sacked your own settlement. Okay. Interesting flex. Interesting flex. By the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and take that now. Thank you very much. I think you'll find it's mine. Thank you. Okay, you attack right, you you Why why did you just sack Flensburg? What possible reason could you have to do that? Absolutely bonkers all right let's move you up we'll move you oh you bumps you bonked heads didn't you you bonked your heads okay go let's go come it's all right fine don't be scared right i'm just gonna go straight for these guys well i think it is possible and we'll go and burn down Middenland. Middenheim, sorry. Middenland is the province. Middenheim is the city. I knew that. I know stuff. People don't think I know stuff, but I know stuff. I've heard stuff, and then I know stuff, because I've heard the stuff that's being said, and then I remember what the stuff is sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Do I want... Okay, I will upgrade Altdorf and we'll get more growth. Right, so I've got the entire province. Again, I probably could give this to Ikit and just let him deal with it. But 
Oh my god, Bella Cor Wait, is Bella Cor at war with Marathi? No. No, apparently. Oh my god, look at Marathi has got. She's got a firm, firm grasp on the whole of that ring. Inner and outer. God, Solostra. Holy shit, Solostra. What the, the will start fuck? You usually. You got 17 settlements. What the hell? You don't normally do that well. Are you friends with. You're friends with Marathi. Oh, it's deteriorating though. All right, but still, still interesting. Uh, Vod, I'm going to keep a. No, I'm not. I don't have the money. Jeez, cost like a grand to assault those walls. Holy shit! Go on then. Go on, Azazel. Okay, we could. Do I want to maybe try and take down them walls? Okay, Vud the Cheese has cheesed it. He has cheesed himself. Uh, I'm right. You're probably gonna. In fact, you're almost certainly gonna run away. But do I have enough movement to hunt you down? That's the question. Oh, I do. I love it when I've got enough movement to hunt armies down. So satisfying. Because they usually spend so much of their time running away from me. Dietz Bratch. If only his name was last name was Nuts. Dietz Nuts. But alas, he has a boring name. It'll happen. Uh, we don't want to fight El... Or do we want to fight Elspeth? Maybe we do. Do we... Do we go... Do we go all out? Problem is... Uh, I think until... Until we've dealt with the Empire, I don't think it's a good idea. I think we should focus. Hop. Poop out of camp. And then we don't get replenishment. That's fine. Oh, maybe you need to be encamped. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got encampment. Lovely. Uh, so we want to go with... Oh, what, does, what gives more replenishment? Is it this? Mm, does anything? Oh, maybe it doesn't. Never mind. Not that important. We will grab a spare tent. My wife wants me to, she wants so she wants to go camping she says there's a music festival near us and uh mcfly are gonna be there which i actually know who they are and she wants to go camping and i'm very much like i don't want to go camping i don't like i'm not i'm not no, i'm not a natural camper that's my problem i need certain comforts and without those comforts I get testy. So I feel like camping is just not for me. The great more of you um, well, okay. Okay, allies have refused to join me. Who? No one? No one appears to have refused to join me. So we're cool. Okay, well, that's bullshit. My poor camp. I just pooped out another one as well. Oh, did the bloody hands... The bloody hands broke it off. <sighs> Disappointing. Disappointing. Wait, did you survive? Wait, what, what camp was it? What camp did we loot? Okay, you boys. Let's bring everyone down here. Mass our forces. And recruit more boys. Drown them in big flabby bodies. That's what you want to do, isn't it? It's the ticket. 
Rogue tyrant. Uh, okay, you're recruiting all of them. You are going to recruit that. You're recruiting that. We can... Oh, that's global. I don't really want global. I'm just going to recruit as many ogres as possible. Okay, we're going to have to deal with this new problem. Unfortunate. I don't know why Kemler decided. Because he does realise he's now at war with literally everyone around him, right? That's It's actually insane that he wants to do that. Like, it's genuinely madness. There's no, uh, there's absolutely no good reason for him doing that. I was happy leaving him alone. He was happy being left alone. No one else was picking a fight with him. And then suddenly out of no, nowhere, he's just, all right, let's just, let's, let's, have a, let's have a fight. Why? What? Why? Um, I will get cooking. I'll take the extra control. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to have to deal with... You. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with them in a second because we've got other things to be... to be mulching. Let's... Uh, you know what I don't... I probably haven't done is... I haven't done the offer to the moor. Let's do that one. You probably haven't done it either. Uh-huh. Let's do that one. There we go. Right, now we can take Tergig and add Tab Talabheim. We'll just bop no, hang on, we'll just bop you. I said we'll just bop we'll just bop you. There we go. We'll loot and occupy. Just for the funsies. Uh right, there is an army here, and do they have a big garrison? They don't actually have a garrison building, which means I can attack this and take it out. That, however, is going to have to wait until next time. Of course, the next episode will be on the Monsters of Bound supplemental channel. And tomorrow we'll be starting a brand new campaign on this channel. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.